All right, uh, we are now live on our social media platforms. Thanks so much for joining us here on our severe weather streaming platforms. We got an update for you. You know, we're under a tornado watch, a flood watch, and we have a tornado warning in Pennsylvania right now, not in our region, but just to the south of State College at 402. There was a radar indicated tornado, so definitely the atmospheric parameters are ripe within our region. We have severe thunderstorm warnings right now for Union and Snyder counties, also southern Clinton County. So I want to get right into it here and show you what's going on. This is uh, what's let me show you a little bit closer. These are the National Weather Service warnings, watches, and uh, advisories. And you can see on the map here that we have yellow overspreading a lot of our area. We're talking Clinton County, Potter, Tioga, uh, also Lycoming County, down through uh, Montour, Columbia, Northumberland, Union, and Snyder counties. That yellow color is indicating that the atmospheric parameters are ripe for a tornado a little bit later on today. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning right now in effect for uh, Union and Snyder counties. That's the western half of Union and Snyder County, but this storm isn't losing any of its potency, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's extended further into Northumberland and Montour County once we get past the 5 o'clock hour. There's that tornado warning just to the south of State College indicated in red, and that was indicated around 4.02. There was a radar indicated tornado, the possibility of some spinning and rotation within the cloud. And that severe thunderstorm warning that you can see there in gold, that's going to impact Clinton County, also through Snyder County. And uh, that severe thunderstorm is moving at a speed of just 30 miles per hour. So it's, it's moving quickly, but not as quickly as we've seen other thunderstorms move. So we could see a lot of rainfall fall out of this storm in a very short period of time and result in maybe some flooding as well. Uh, radar indicated rotation within these thunderstorms. And although a tornado is not imminent right now in Northumberland, Union, Snyder counties, there is the possibility for it as we go towards the next few hours. So you want to remain inside if you can as this thunderstorm passes through central Pennsylvania. I want to show you this green color too. That green color indicating a flood watch in effect for our, sorry, the I, I think I do have it full screen. It's just not on this map. We're just uh, figuring out some technical things here. I wanted to get it up on our screen back here as well. I'm not exactly sure how to get it up on that screen. Just like this. Let's see here. Is that it? That should do it. I think uh, we ended up being backwards here. So let me go back and show you what it looks like as far as the full screen graphic. Maggie, tell me if you can see this. This is what I was trying to show you earlier, that yellow color indicating a tornado watch in effect. Perfect. All right, now you're seeing what I've been trying to show you. That tornado watch in effect in yellow across, thank you so much, Our control room just told us that we have it up in the middle as well. That yellow color is that tornado watch. That's where you're seeing the possibility, the atmospheric ripeness for twisting in that lower levels of the atmosphere. There's the tornado warning down to the south of State College. It's in effect until... 430. They might extend it if they continue to see that rotation on radar. I think it's starting to dissipate by comparison to what we saw a little bit earlier. There was significant inward and outbound, inbound and outbound molecules moving around. So we can see with radar which way air is moving. And if it's moving towards and away from the radar in a very small location, you can see that rotation. That's what we uh, normally look for, that radar rotation signature. We are, there's the severe thunderstorm warning for southern uh, Clinton County, also through Western Union and Snyder counties. And this is the flood watch overspreading the entire same region because of the fact that we could see the possibility of rainfall very quick in a very short period of, amount of, a very short period of time, heavy rainfall that can cause uh, ponding on roadways as well as gutters that could block up as it's swift sh bringing all the debris down the gutter and that can cause it to be overwhelmed and of course start to flood in some locations. Those streams and creeks that often do over flood in your backyards, that's something that might be a problem as well. So we have this flood watch in effect until 2 a.m. tomorrow. And again, that severe thunderstorm warning currently in effect for Union and Snyder counties as we're seeing this storm roll towards us here in central Pennsylvania. Wanted to break down tornado terminology because we're under this tornado watch for central Pennsylvania. And tornado watch means that we have the parameters or the conditions favorable for the production of tornadoes. We could see that rotation at the lower levels of the atmosphere that could cause a funnel cloud to make contact with the ground. A warning is when you have a tornado that's either indicated by radar or spotted by an actual person on the ground. 
That's what's currently happening in State College, just to the south of State College. They actually spotted it on radar and they issued, the National Weather Service issued a warning. If we see any of those, we are obligated to be on air. So we will be giving you all the latest updates on a tornado warning within our region. If it happens to be in any of the counties that we serve, we will be on air giving you the latest updates on it. A tornado emergency is taking that warning a step up, and that means that it's a severe threat to human life and catastrophic damage. Oftentimes, that's an EF3 or higher tornado, maybe an EF2 or higher tornado. But if it's causing damage, the National Weather Service issues a tornado emergency. So right now, again, we are under a tornado watch for a lot of central Pennsylvania, all the way down to Schuylkill County. It doesn't include the Wyoming Valley just right now. Maybe these storms might lose some of their potential for spinning at those lower levels as they push towards eastern Pennsylvania, but central Pennsylvania definitely has conditions ripe for a tornado, and that's why we're seeing that warning right now just to the south of State College. Let's give you a closer view at the severe risk. You can see we're in a level two out of five slight, that yellow, uh, for severe weather. And the highest risk, of course, is high winds and flooding. We could see quick downpours, putting down a lot of rainfall in a very short period of time. We could see high winds that could cause damage to trees, roofing, and your uh, property as well. There is the risk for some pea-sized hail, not the highest risk for hail, and also not the highest risk for tornadoes, but we still do see those parameters possible. Now, that's a little bit of a difference compared to the, tornado, to the storms that we saw on Wednesday night. Wednesday night, we saw that downburst near Berwick, and that caused a lot of damage, but that wasn't a tornado. That was straight line winds that came directly out of the cloud and rushed out and caused all the breaking of trees and you know roofs collapsing and buildings it caused sustaining damage so even if you don't have a tornado high winds can still cause a really big impact on people's property so don't discount the storm just because it's not producing a tornado. It's definitely capable of producing damage. So uh, we're currently under that severe risk until around 10 p.m. And then tomorrow we do have the risk for severe weather once again. This is the closer look at it. This is tomorrow's map. So we are under a slight risk for Pike and Monroe counties for severe weather. And then we're under a marginal risk or a level one out of five for the rest of central and northeastern Pennsylvania. So still a risk for some uh, possible severe storms tomorrow afternoon, just not as widespread as what we're seeing right now. Here's satellite and radar. See all the yellows and oranges. Those are all those heavy downpours, but you can see the strongest precipitation and the strongest storms are now uh, popping up in central Pennsylvania, just to the south of State College. I want to give you a closer look at Williamsport, dealing with a heavy downpour right now. Also down towards Lock Haven, just saw a heavy downpour. Also some lightning strikes and possible hail. You can see that quick early rotation signature on the map there, just to the southwest of State College near Tyrone and Woodward. That's where we had that tornado warning in effect until 4.30 as a result of radar indicated rotation. Looking down towards the south, look at all those lightning strikes just to the south of State College. Very heavy rainfall, producing high winds. This is what we could see roll into Union and Snyder counties in the next two hours. So if you live in Lewisburg, if you leave, live in Beaver Springs, anywhere in Union and Snyder County, you're going to see a strong storm severe storm roll through with high winds, strong rainfall, and possibly some small hail as well. Timing that out for you, here it is, 450, it'll be in Beaver Springs, 547 by Wilkesbury, around 5, 645 for Pottsville. By the time it gets to Stroudsburg, it'll be around 8 o'clock, and Allentown by around 8 also, a little after the 8 o'clock hour. And I don't want to discount the fact that there's also showers and storms across northeastern Pennsylvania too. They just don't have that severe quality right now. You don't see any of those lightning strikes on our map. Right now we're just seeing that heavy rainfall, maybe some gusts up to 20, 30 miles per hour. But the real severe stuff right now is contained to central Pennsylvania, but it will be moving towards us in Union, Snyder, Schuylkill, and Northumberland counties. So we'll be tracking it very closely over the next hour or two. This is what it looks like live from our rooftop camera. No rainfall falling right now, but we did see some bouts of moderate to heavy rainfall. And there's Williamsport. Heavy downpour. It's in that red shaded region. Lots of raindrops falling at a single period of time. Could see some quick flooding in localized regions, but it's not under a severe thunderstorm warning. I want to bring it back to what I showed you at the top of this broadcast. This is the current watch and warning map. Yellow indicating 
tornado watch, we have the conditions favorable for tornadoes. Red, just to the southwest of State College, indicating a tornado warning. Let me show, you to it, show it to you full screen. And the golden color, just to the east of the tornado warning, is a severe thunderstorm warning, and that's in effect until 5 o'clock. Will impact Union and Snyder counties, Beaver Springs, Lewisburg, over the next hour or so. And then it will continue its way eastward, and probably this severe thunderstorm warning will be extended into Northumberland, Montour, and Columbia counties as well. And that flood watch also in effect for those same regions because of the fact that we could see flooding rainfall for a long period of time uh, quickly. Um, so we're talking about an hour long period. That's a long period of time for a severe thunderstorm. Sometimes they're done in 20 minutes. And then we're going to see a lot of rainfall throughout come out of that cloud as well. All right, so I want to show you how things are going to shape up on future clouds and radar. We'll continue to see these storms roll through. It'll be a line of severe weather. By the time we get to 530, we could be dealing with a downpour there in Union Snyder counties and that severe thunderstorm, of course, as well. Continuing through around 730, look at this. This is 730 reds pinks on the map those are heavy downpours probably supporting hail maybe even sparking up a tornado or two and although that region is not in a tornado watch it doesn't mean that it can't see one it just means that the conditions are more favorable for places like montour and columbia counties bloomsburg lewisburg sunbury williamsport and du shore but we could still see some rotation in those clouds as it marches its way towards northeast pennsylvania things are still unsettled by 10 o'clock we're still seeing greens and yellows and oranges on the map. Heavy downpour still for the Poconos and down through the southern tier. Things don't wrap up with these storms until after midnight. We look good for the beginning part of Sunday. Maybe an isolated shower or storm, but then we see this line of storms once again start to spark up around 12:30, 1 o'clock, and that's what could cause some severe weather once again. Remember, we're under that level one out of five risk for severe weather tomorrow, but today we're still already focusing on this severe weather that we're seeing now. So we could see these damaging winds, flooding rains today, and then another bout of it tomorrow afternoon. Things wrap up by the time we get to 5 o'clock, and then we clear out for Monday and Tuesday. That actually looks beautiful. We have temperatures in the 70s once again for Monday, and then uh, humidity will be down again too, so it'll be a nice uh, start to your first week of July. But these two weekend days are pretty unsettled as far as weather goes. Definitely have to remain weather aware and see if these storms continue to uh, produce anything in our region. Uh, I want to show you what we're going to see tonight. Overnight tonight, 71 will be your low. So we're going to see a hot and sticky, humid overnight. Those storms will wrap up by the time we get to midnight and start up again, let's say late morning tomorrow between 10 and 1 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 5.33 a.m. And here's your seven-day forecast. Tomorrow we'll have that isolated afternoon storm. High temperature of 87 degrees, so warmer than it was today. That'll provide that fuel for storms. We'll see some more sunshine tomorrow as well. Today it's been mostly cloudy. Tomorrow we're going to see, I'd say, breaks of sunshine, especially in the afternoon. Monday, Tuesday look fantastic. Wednesday we start to see the humidity and temperatures creep up. By the time we get to Thursday... That's a big day for all of us. It's 4th of July. We are tracking some showers on 4th of July. It won't be a washout of a day, but that's far away from now. Right now we have to focus on what's afflicting us in our region today. And that is the tornado watch in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. I'm going to end off this broadcast with those watches and warnings that we currently have in effect. Uh, just going to put up that graphic here. The, the yellows indicating the thunderstorm watch. Uh, excuse me, the tornado watch where we could see those possible tornadoes spin up and that uh, now we're starting to see it change. The National Weather Service making changes to the map as we speak. So this is live television, folks. We always see new data coming in and we're working with that right now. So they discontinued the tornado watch for Potter and Tioga counties, also for Bradford County. And now it is pretty much centralized in central Pennsylvania through Clinton, Lycoming, Sullivan, uh, Union, Snyder, Northumberland, Montour County, and also through Columbia County. So that's the central risk of where we could see tornadoes over the next few hours. Remember, there is a tornado watch issued just a half hour ago to the southwest of State College. So these storms are definitely capable of producing something like that, but don't let your guard down, even if they don't produce a tornado. Damaging winds are definitely possible with these storms, over 50, even 60 miles per hour. 
and that can cause damage to your property as well. We'll have all mo more details on Newswatch 16 at 6. We'll be on Channel 16, of course, with more details on these storms as they continue to move their way into our region. And of course, if we do have a tornado warning in our region, we will be live with you to give you the latest details. If you can, stay inside over the next few hours in those regions of central Pennsylvania. And by the time we get to 8 or 9 o'clock, it will be impacting eastern Pennsylvania. I'll probably have another update for you about that time. All right, I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday.